One of my go-tos when I'm allowed to throw it and I'm fun fishing and not in a tournament is an A-Rig. Despite your opinion or thought of an A-Rig, this thing absolutely catches some of the biggest fish that I put in, in the boat all year long, whether it's large mouth, small mouth spots, it doesn't really matter. But with every technique, there's always a way that you can fine tune a bait to execute with whatever bait you're throwing better. And that comes down to the heads you're using, the line, the rod, the reel. And I just wanna run you through my setup and what you can do to this A-Rig to have better success in the water. And if you take a look at this A-Rig, it is not a small bass bait. I mean, there's a lot going on here. So the equipment to throw this thing is absolutely critical. I like a long rod with a big handle and a big reel to be able to effectively and comfortably throw this thing all day long. This is a 710 Heavy from St. Croix. We added a couple inches to the back end here just to give you a little bit more leverage on the cast. And a big round reel with a big spool so I can get a little bit more casting distance on it. And a slow reel, something that I can comfortably bring in all day long. And because it is a bigger reel, a lot of that, that torque is, is gone that this A-Rig puts off. Line anywhere from 16 to 22 pound fluorocarbon based on, you know, it really is based on water depth and clarity. The 22 pound, if I really want to slow that bait down, like get it crawling through the water column, I'll go to a 22 or if I'm in shallow water. 16 pound if I'm fishing super deep water, like 30, 35 feet out on a Great Lakes situation. And with a rig, there's a lot of things that you can do to this. You just have to keep it in your mind. All this thing is, is a school of bait fish. If you can keep that in your mind and think of what a school of bait fish does, it usually sits above a fish's head. And with that, you, need, you can really adjust this rig to whatever you need. If it's windy and cloudy, I like throwing blades. If it's sunny and flat calm, or if I'm fishing pressure conditions, I take these blades off completely. And with the heads, it really depends on, the, on how deep you're fishing and what is the water temperature. The colder the water temperature, the slower I want this thing to go. So I usually stick with, depending on your regulations on, on how many hooks you can have. But with the biggest one, if I'm fishing that 20 foot zone, I'll run a quarter and an eighth. And that may, and a quarter in the middle and two eighths on the bottom. That may seem light, but really the key to this thing or how I've done really well on it is crawling this thing through the water column. So that's about perfect for me. Anything shallower, I'll usually use all ace. A-Rig, super modifiable. Always keep the least appetizing ones up top if you can only run three hooks. Always throw the biggest one in the middle and you can adjust your swim bait size based on your forage base. If you haven't thrown one, check out the A-Rig. You'll probably get your biggest bites of the year on this thing.